Houston Space Center. Welcome back to my channel and for today's vlog, we are here at Houston Space Center. Located in the heart of Houston, Texas, it's a premier destination that offers an immersive and educational experience for space enthusiasts of all ages. That is a model of the uh, International Space Station right there. This is amazing. Right now, the space station is right here, somewhere in China. One of the center's highlights is its role as a hub for astronauts. Visitors can learn about the lives and journeys of astronauts through captivating exhibits, personal stories, and even opportunity to meet a real astronaut during these special events. the stuff that they use at the uh, International Space Station. Plastic aluminum, look at that. Wow, Robonauts. Astronaut helper. Astronaut sleep station. There's a laptop. The other one, brush. Everything is here. The space toilet. Oh. So your poop uh, won't be floating. I think it's, there's a. It will suck up the poop. Space food. Some of them are made in uh, Japan, made in Canada, made in Russia. These are some of the space food that they take. Here, so we're going back to the moon. So this is the uh, Artemis. The Artemis program is NASA's initiative to return humans to the moon by the mid 2020s. The program seeks not only to revisit the lunar surface, but also to demonstrate new technologies and system essential for future mission to Mars. The Artemis program envisions the creation of Lunar Gateway, a space station orbiting the Moon. This international collaboration will serve as a staging point for lunar missions and a platform for scientific research. Oh, this is the new space suit that they're gonna use for advanced These are the location from the previous exploration where they landed on the moon. These are all the astronauts, NASA crew. This is the rocket engine. Rocket 
this is about uh, the plan to go to Mars. Some of the preparation they do. Where there's a Mars. It's sunny. The center's Mission Mars exhibit offers a thrilling glimpse into the challenges and excitement of planning human mission to the Red Planet. Additionally, Lunar Gateway showcases NASA's ambition to return humans to the moon and pave the way for the future deep space exploration. The Space Center ensures a comfortable and enjoyable visit with amenities such as dining options, gift shops, and well-maintained facilities. It's an ideal destination for families, school groups, and space enthusiasts alike. Rocket Park is a captivating outdoor space featuring authentic rockets that played key roles in various space missions. It offers unique opportunity for visitors to marvel at the engineering marvels that paved propelled astronaut into space. If you guys look up ahead, you'll see the outline of a Saturn V rocket on that large white building. That building and the surrounding area make up the George W. S. Abbey Rocket Park, which was dedicated to George Abbey in 2021, who was a former center director at JSC. And inside of this building is one of only three remaining Saturn V rockets left in the entire world. On the other side of the building, you guys are going to see two model rockets on display. The shorter rocket with a red top is a model of a Mercury Redstone rocket. Designed initially as a ballistic missile, it was repurposed by NASA to carry their crewed Mercury capsule into space. The second rocket on the yellow scaffolding is a replica of the Little Joe 2, a rocket that was used to test out the launch escape system and the parachute systems before launching the Saturn V rocket during the Apollo program. Amazing. Saturn V. The Saturn V was a rocket NASA built wow. to send people to the moon. A heavy lift vehicle, it was the most powerful rocket that had ever flown successfully. This was used in the Apollo program in the 1960s and 70s and was also used to launch the Skylab space station. Seven four seven carrying one of the uh, space shuttle. A major attraction is the Space Shuttle Independence, mounted on the historic seven four seven shuttle carrier aircraft. This inspiring display provides a tangible connection to NASA's Space Shuttle program and allows visitors to witness the sheer scale of these remarkable vehicles.
Inside the cockpit. This is Canada's contribution. The arm that goes out when these things open. Did it go through the hole? Nice. Oh wow. Someone was taking a bath. Oh, look We are inside the Skylab, the first U.S. space station launched into Earth's orbit on May 14, 1973. The astronauts carried out investigations of the human body's adaptation to the space environment. The kitchen, the toilet. This is outside the Skylab. Early space flight. Wow. Whoa. Liquid fuel rocket. Explorer one. Mercury spacecraft. <laughs> the lunar rover. Lunar samples. Wow, let's touch the moon. Ask the moon. These are some the, some of the samples. Elon Musk, SpaceX, rocket boosters. Falcon 9 is a reusable two-stage rocket designed and manufactured by SpaceX for the reliable and safe transport of people and payloads into Earth orbit and beyond. A must visit when you're here in Texas, Houston Space Center. Yahoo! Highly recommend! Yay!